All right, hey guys, welcome back to our family nest. Carly took <laughs> off. I was All trying right. to hold it in. You guys want to play a fun game? Every time Carly coughs, pinch the person next to you. <laughs> I'm going to try. It's just, it hurts. Okay. So basically, we're just doing a little Q&A today. We didn't have really a whole lot going on on our schedule this week, other than lots of swimming and hanging out by the pool because it's supposed to be like close to 90 all week and I was like you know what it's been a while I feel like I just woke up since we've done the Q&A we just filmed one for Carly's channel but don't go watch her video it was an awkward question asking awkward questions yeah but don't go watch it because I tried to shout out my channel on her channel and she said I'm cutting that out it's pretty funny, so you should watch it. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to hop into the questions, and there's going to be just like these kind of questions, not the long story Yeah, we were taking too long. Yeah, we talked about whatever. You'd have to watch it anyways. What's Carly going to name her new kitten? I'm not telling anyone. Why do you even <laughs> Can ask Can we tell that? them what it starts with? No, because people are already like saying very close to oh, it really? in my comments. So, so if I don't we even say want... it, they'll know. Someone actually said the name, but Ooh. like... I'm not even going to say anything else. All but right. someone did say the name in my comments. I will let you know. Oh boy, you so better go read can, all of her comments. You can go read all my comments, but... Let's just say Carly thought of the name, but I came up with the idea for the cute little nickname. There is a nickname. Yeah. All right. What movie could you watch over and over again? 10 Things I Hate About You. It's like my favorite movie right now. I've only seen it twice, but... I could watch it again, like, right now. I don't know what else. Other than Twilight, which I've watched many times, <laughs> but I'll, like, fast-forward through the fight scenes because those are stupid. Um, I like anything with, like, Reese Witherspoon, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Jennifer Aniston movies, like, rom-coms. I'm just more of not a movie person. There's a lot of shows that I watch, but yeah. I don't watch movies very often. The only series that I've ever watched more than once would be Gossip Girl, the original Gossip okay. Girl. Have you ever watched this? I know you've watched American Horror Story more than once, but anything oh else? Uh, never Gossip watched. Girl I've watched more than once. Yeah. Carrie Diaries I've watched more than once. Almost every show I've watched. Fuller House I've watched more than really? once. I've watched it twice through. Wow. Because I start, like, I would say, like, oh, like, I'm going to have this show for, like, when at night, when before I'm going to bed, and I don't want to pay attention. Yeah. That's Full House right now, but I focus on everything, so now I'm watching Full House from the beginning. <laughs> oh, we do watch Friends every night before we go to bed, and I've seen all the episodes, so. What do you think is your best quality? Oh. Uh, like, quality about yourself? Like, um, physical or? Let's go with non-physical. Unless you, or you do both. I would say my intelligence. I think I'm very smart. Okay. And I feel like with that, I have a lot of good ideas and I make good decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about physical quality? No. <laughs> That's the part you hate. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. Um, I don't have a favorite physical quality. I guess by the color of my eyes if I had to pick something. I think I have nice legs. I like my legs. They're long, and I like my eyes, but I also hate my eyes because they're <laughs> a little dark, so. You like the eyeballs, not the part of No, I like my eyes when I have eyelashes. Hmm. So, but that doesn't really count. So my legs. If you could write a book, what would it be about? What, like nonfiction? My life. <laughs> <laughs> no, what if it was nonfiction? If I could, I wouldn't know exactly what it'd be about, but it'd be some, like, twisted crime. Something. Yeah. Like, Mine would be, like, a thriller with steamy romance mixed in. Well, <laughs> when I, like, read, or not even read, because I don't read, <laughs> but when I, like, watch movies or shows that are all, like, crime-related, like, there's always so much potential on, like, a point where, like, things could just twist and, like, be insane. Yeah. And I... I just would write a book that literally would be like insane and just no one Lots would of expect surprises. it to happen. Cause I feel like a lot of books, I mean, I don't read books again, but I feel like they're very like, you just know what's going to happen. Yeah. So I would want to, if I was going to be an author, I would want it to be like every book you read, you had no idea what was going to happen. 
it's crazy to me how many books these days are turning into like Netflix and Hulu and whatever mm -hmm. shows and series. Like I wonder now when authors write books if they are writing them with the intention of it being <laughs> yeah. picked up for a show. Yeah. So um, any future vacation plans? We are trying to plan a family vacation and we were going to do it at the end of this year, but now we're going to wait until the beginning of next year and it's going to be like everybody. Like all the kids and their partners. So, and Carly's trying to kind of chase them to take in Josie for his partner. <laughs> well, I have been saying I want to go to Florida for my birthday, but. In August. But someone sucks and <laughs> likes to wait till last minute where it can't happen anymore. So. Oh, to his parents' um, yeah. rental thingy. Yeah. All right. Best and worst part of being a YouTuber? Best is definitely just like the flexibility. Yeah, like, I was gonna say the same thing. You can just like, because you're not always in a mood to work. And like for some people, like you don't get a choice. Like you have to go to work. Like, yeah. But for me, it's like, if I'm like in such a motivated mood, I can film three videos the next thing you know, I don't have to work for the next two weeks. So mm -hmm. that part's nice. Definitely the downside though for me is like, privacy yeah i guess hate comments are like whatever like i don't really yeah care i don't that. care about hate comments it's either. just more of like see when i was having this conversation the other day like i was sitting at the bar and i was talking and i was like it always just stresses me out because like what if i'm drinking or something and then like i turn and someone's looking uh, at me taking a picture of me it's like yeah just all that like yeah. it's more of like the privacy thing i feel like i can never go somewhere and be somewhere and not feel like there's one person there that knows <laughs> who i am you. and like looks at me yeah so that's the part that sucks. yeah i don't worry about that so much i even think about like when i'm at the mall and stuff because obviously i keep my relationship private i'm always like oh i don't want someone like <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like um but like paparazzi like oh my god someone's gonna well, take pictures and post it of me and my boyfriend to that extent <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, it always just worries me. And it's just kind of, like, at the point where if I see someone look at me, my first assumption is, like, you know who I am. Like, and it's not even to you be, like, me. conceited or anything yeah, like I that. Like, it's mean. not like, oh, like, you know who I am. It's not like that. It's just because, like, I if have had people, like, at stare at me before and yeah. then say they know who I am. So I'd say the best part is what you said, the flexibility. The worst part is people that I know in real life. Like that I don't <laughs> that I don't see all that often. I just feel so weird when somebody says, <sighs> like, I'll say, Oh yeah, I got these new earrings the other day, whatever. Oh yeah, I I've seen it in your video. Or like just anything that they've seen in a video. So I don't even get a chance to like tell them, like, oh I any I can't even think of anything anything that I just want to like share with a friend and they're like oh yeah I already know I've seen it in your video so like if you're my friend and you're watching this don't tell me that you see things <laughs> in my videos pretend that you don't watch my videos because it's just weird like I never know what what do you say what do you follow up with that oh thanks I mean I have friends who watch my videos like Josie will say like oh I watched your video it doesn't bother me I know, but no, it's not even so much like, oh, I watched your video. That's great if you say that. I do have a friend that'll say that. Like, oh, I watched your video. And it's like, oh, th you know, ah. like that's cool. It's more so like, say you started to tell Josie a story. Like, oh yeah, the other day my mom and I went to the mall and, Bob, and Josie's like, yep, I already know. I watched the video. <laughs> yeah. Like, let me just be normal. Another <laughs> downside that I have is definitely like, I feel like people don't take... Like, especially because I'm young too. Yeah. Like, my career as seriously or, like, without respect, which is just kind of weird to me because, like, and I've had many adults ask me, like, oh, how much money do you make? Like, that's a disrespectful question. Yeah, nobody asks. Regardless of any, who you're talking to. Yeah. Like, I know you don't ask other people that. Like, I know right. you would, wouldn't ask a friend that, or maybe a friend, but, like, yeah. some stranger that you just met who's older, so why would you ask a kid that? Like, I don't know. I just don't like when people ask me that question. I think the reason is, though, like, because it's like, if you right. said, oh, I'm a waiter, people know how much you probably make. Or, oh, I work at Target, or I'm a doctor. I've just never or, asked someone no that one question knows, before. Unless they're an influencer or YouTuber or whatever. Nobody knows. So I they're mean, just I get curious. It. Anyways. Yeah. Which university does Carly go to and what's her major? I go to University of Toledo. 
online though. I don't actually go there, so don't go looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> and my major is criminal justice. All right, how does Carly go to bars? Because I'm just cool like that. Because <laughs> they're 18 and over. Do you go? To, oh wait, you, what was the one place? Well, you can't. I don't want you to say where. Wasn't there some place that's like a 21 and over bar, and they let you guys go in and didn't say anything? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's happened a few times. Yeah, they just don't care, I guess. They don't ask for IDs. <laughs> Are you still doing Rompley? Um, if you guys don't know, it's our online store, Rompley.com. And no, not really. We're actually in the process of selling all of our inventory to someone else that, like, has a store. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, we're just, we're going to... Maybe in another video, I'll explain to you guys why we're no longer doing it because it would kind of be a long story. But I will let you know that any of the products on our website that are like Rompley brand um, are 50% off with code OFN. It's not advertised anywhere. I'm just putting it in this <laughs> video because the stuff that we're selling to this person who's buying out all of our inventory, they don't want our Rompley branded stuff. It, they want everything else. So, what happened to Carly's Widow's Peak? Bean. It's still there. I just feel like I've gotten a lot better at parting my hair directly down. And I don't ever like wear my hair in a way where it's visible. It just but, shows, like, yeah. It's right there. But my forehead's secretly big, so I don't tell anyone. <laughs> it's right there. How tall are both of you? You're 5'5", five five, yep. and I'm 5'7". Okay. Would you ever get more plastic surgery? If yes, what would you do? So, they're probably referring to I had upper and lower blepharoplasty surgery. I made a video about all the everything on my Candyland channel. But um, if you YouTube search it, you can look it up. Um, would I ever get anything else? I don't know. I would never because if I was going to, I would have done it by now. But I've always talked about getting like a tummy tuck and a like a boob lift all like whatever they call that. There's like a thing that they call it to get it done all at one time. But I'm just too afraid to have get an infection or like that's how Kanye West's mom died was she mm -hmm. got like a tummy tuck and got an infection and died like mm -hmm. it just if I had to have surgery because I have like something medically wrong with me that's one thing yeah. but to go in and have like a procedure done that's really voluntary just because you want to look better and I mean the thing that sucks about like I mean it makes sense but like plastic surgery is something that you actually want the best doctor possible yeah. to do and then it just gets more expensive and expensive yeah yeah, but I would get a nose job probably. Really? I mean, just to fix the bump. I yeah. mean, the one guy said he'd do it for me already, but yeah. And then <laughs> I remember that's when he told you that he a would boob reduction too, probably. I mean, I don't know my boobs are yeah. Insane. You don't need a boob reduction. Well, they're shrinking, so it's fine. <laughs> remember the one that doctor told you that he yes. could fix your nose and you didn't even ask to have it fixed? He was just like, "Oh, by the way, I can get rid of that on your nose." Well, like, cause I was gonna get like nose surgery because yeah. There's something wrong with my nose. I need to figure out the name for that because I talk about that yeah. so much. And I literally don't know the we'll name. But there's something wrong inside of my nose, and the only way to fix it is getting surgery. So we were talking to the ENT guy, and he was like, "And while we're at it, we can shave your nose down for ten grand." <laughs> like, thanks. I didn't ask, but oh, did Chase and Asha break up? Oh yeah, long time ago. Old news. Back in November. Um, is there an outfit of each other's that you hate when each other wears it? <laughs> I don't know. She probably would just There's say everything. Like, a lot of stuff you wear sometimes that's a little questionable to me. Like what? What, like old lady that's clothes? That's fine, but like, I just, it reminds me of like, I don't know, you'll just, it's like a millennial and Gen X thing in my brain. <laughs> it's like the shirts that will say like, be happy, or like, <laughs> something like that. Like, I've never seen anyone in my generation wear a shirt like that. Like, well, I'm not in your generation. I, that's what I'm saying. No one uh, in my generation wears stuff like uh, that. It's okay. always like millennials and your generation. It's always like the weird sayings, like Saturday happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Something <laughs> so stupid. Like, I can't. Uh, so, just like those, that kind of stuff. Candy, did you get Carly into reading? 
Or did Carly get you into reading? I got her into reading. Yeah, right. I don't really think you got me into reading. I think it was more of like TikTok and yeah, just the general aesthetic of like reading. It like got me interested, and then I bought a bunch of books and haven't really had time. I was gonna say Carly's not really into reading. Carly's into buying books. The thing is, though, is I like sit and think. I'm like, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read, and then I end up doing something else. So. Yeah. You just have to, I tell her, you just have to crack it open and start reading it, and you just can't stop. It's like... The problem with my mind is it's always going, and I feel like I always have something to do. That, like, reading would be the last thing that I would do. Yeah. If my room was perfectly clean, everything was put together, like, yeah. then I would read a book. I literally have to tell myself, like, when I go to bed, I have to, I'll have my phone like this, and I'd be like, there is not a single thing on your phone that you need to be looking at right now. Put it down and read. Yeah. And then I just, after I do that, I am, like so happy that I did that because then next thing you know it's like I've read half a book and you know like that's that's the biggest part is putting your phone down mm. all right candy who has been your favorite author that you've read this year Colleen Hoover uh yeah Colleen Hoover follow me on Goodreads and you can see all my ratings and stuff there Emily Henry Colleen Hoover Abby Gibbons any kind of romance books that I've read this year have all been my favorites Carly, what has been the best advice you've been given so far? In life? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't feel like I've ever been given any advice that... I feel like usually I'm I'm an advice giver. Yeah, I don't... So if I were to tell you the best advice I've ever heard, it probably came from my mouth. <laughs> so... I if I had to think of something, I would think back to a Shay Tards video where Shay Carl would always say that happiness is a choice. That when you wake up today, it's your choice if you want to be in a good mood or a bad mood. But Ooh, that wasn't wait, even like advice directed towards me. But I just always think of that. And now Carly, oh. and now Carly watch watches Avia's videos, which is really Sometimes, cool. But yeah, it's when like a situation happens to you, you can either choose to be bitter or better. I like. That. Oh yeah, so I you like can that. either choose to like make it the biggest deal in the world, or you can choose to like take it and get better from it. That's I a like good one. That. Yeah, I like that. Did you ever get treated differently in school or public places for being so well-known? Trauma. <laughs> I used to actually get bullied in school. All the time. People would yell through the hallways. Well, I would just get treated like crap. <laughs> Which is why really she know. didn't go back to school after COVID. Which is not that deep. I know it sounds like so sad that I got chased out of school. But yeah. It wasn't meant for me anyways. What's Carly's Bibby Bop order? <laughs> <laughs> they just opened one near me. There's some really weird food combos. I get white rice, potatoes, double corn, double cheese, yum yum sauce, and spicy chicken. Very spicy basic. chicken is good. It is. What does Carly think about growing up on YouTube and sharing major milestones? Um, I think that major milestones. You think of I, like I graduation, well, prom, like you um, know. It's like a plus and a negative <laughs> like yeah it's nice to be able to have like things to look back on like i don't know when i got cordelia like i know that's not a huge milestone yeah, but, but like still. it's like in the moment it was like the last thing i wanted to do was pull out a camera and film because like i just wanted to enjoy my time but how many times have i gone back and watched the video of when i first got her so it's kind of like sometimes like it's nice to yeah have like footage to look back on but sometimes it just sucks because I feel like in the moment it's kind of like taken away from just living life yeah like oh wait we gotta film this first yeah but you probably if you were a longtime viewer of our videos you definitely notice like as years went on it used to be like oh freshman year homecoming you probably were like filming getting ready yeah and like that all this. like that was the type of stuff that I mean like when I'd be getting ready for like homecoming or something you'd be like here film and it's like yeah nah bro <laughs> like, yeah I just want to do my makeup with my friends for homecoming and like that'd be it like and I feel like as time went on and I knew that that's not how she wanted to approach things and she didn't want to film that stuff then we didn't film it like I feel like I don't know there's some people that I've seen like really forced like you gotta film everything film this film that and I feel like as they've gotten older I I feel like for the most part you can say otherwise that I've always been pretty respectful about like you know if there was something that you didn't want to film I didn't force you to film it do I feel like if we would have filmed that stuff it would have made better content certainly but I 
always kind of went with what I knew you wanted. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. So this will be the last question. Do you have regrets putting your life on YouTube? Um, I d don't have any regrets. I think the only thing, if I had to like, think of something that I regret, is back in the day when we used to post every single day. Just that feeling of, and I'm sure you felt it too, because it would be like, oh, we got to film this challenge, and we'd run to the store, and we would get the supplies. And I actually have something to say. Okay, but we would, <laughs> like... It just really felt like work for a good amount of probably like a two, three year period. I have another period. about me, even though that was in the other <laughs> video. Right. It's that, I don't know. I guess people just don't understand how long I've actually been working. On YouTube, yeah. Yes. Like, more than half your life. Way more than half my life. Like 13 you know. years. Well... Yes. Yeah, we used to have some videos here and there back in what, like 2011 is Wait, when you the started. The first video we that made. That little intro was 2011. I was six. 2011. No. Mm -hmm. I was six in our first video. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, clearly us, like, filming every day got us through I mean it got us where we are like that's how we ended up with a million subscribers because that's what family vloggers were doing back then was posting every single day but just looking back on it and how fast those years went raising the kids and just being so busy all the time and it was always like what can we film what's next what's next gotta work gotta edit gotta answer I mean, emails I feel like it definitely had like an effect on everything yeah life, it like... really did it did change and things. I really I you might disagree, but I think YouTube had the biggest effect on my life. Oh, for sure. To anyone else's. Well, right. Like, I don't know how much of Everyone their life, Everyone asks but... me, like, when I move out, what are you and dad going to do? Yeah. I get asked that question a lot by people, and I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, well, you're kind of like the whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I was like, sure. Yeah. I think that, um, we've talked kind of briefly about this before in other videos, that I would probably still have the channel just for the purposes of, like, anything that we were doing that we felt that could be shareable in terms of maybe we went to visit Andrew for the weekend, or maybe, um... We're out of vacation, like, or do you, like anything that's like a big life moment. I feel like I would still maybe want to share. Maybe I don't know because then sometimes I'm like, you know, put the camera down and live. Yeah, like, like I, I really don't know. Yeah. I whenever anytime your dad and I talk about it, he always asks me, "What do you want to do?" Because I'll say, you know, I feel like I want to do something else. And he's like, like what? like what? He'll say like what. And I'll, like, say, I don't know, maybe I just want to go get a job at a bookstore or something. He's like, then go do it. And then I think about doing it, and, then and I don't want to do it. I want to keep doing this. So I feel like until that day comes, I, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I feel the same way, though, because people ask me about college all the time. I'm like, I, I'm i not thinking, like, when that I far ahead. graduate, I'm going to get a job. Yeah. Like, I don't, I'm not thinking about that right now. Because I, for me, like, it's not like... I'm a normal college student and I don't have like this job that I can just fall back onto if like something gets screwed up. Like some right. kids are in college and they're not working a job and they're like, I need to finish college so I can go get a job. Yeah. Like, I'm not like that. So I'm kind of just like, I don't really care right now to even think about that because. But even if like somehow you knew, okay, on March 1st, 2024, you're moving out and buying a house. Does that mean on March 1st? I'm done forever making videos. It's like, I don't know. 2024. Next year. God, I thought it was like 2022. Doesn't that seem weird? I thought it was 2022. Yeah. Um, if I had to bet money on it, if I had to sway one way or the other, I guess I would probably I'd be at like 55% probably not making videos. Really? I don't... I don't think I would ever just like, oh, I'm done with the channel. Like I said, it probably would be like there. What if I only posted a couple times a month or, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, your dad and I are moving. I would film that. Or we just, like I said, visit Andrew for the weekend or Blake moved out what and got a me? new apartment. <laughs> like he would want, he wouldn't care if I would share that stuff. I so I feel like it would be cool to stuff. like have 
little life updates here and there of like the kids and yeah. and I mean I feel like you would still do Instagram Maybe oh yeah because yeah I don't look at Instagram necessarily as like I mean it's like an extension of my job but it's not like we've been talking my job much. well that's why the it's dogs called... are sleeping <laughs> that's why it's called editing yeah. Anyways. Not my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I don't know. You you comment down below, predict what you think will happen over this next year or so with our family nests. What do you guys think? Because it's weird Is to it think about. Be an empty nest? <laughs> yeah, should we change the channel name to my our empty nest? empty nest? Our empty family nest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye, guys.